What's up guys? I hope everybody's having a great day. Plus, I hope you're all ready for Chumbi Valley's token launch happening later on today. So Chumbi Valley is one of the newest upcoming uh, play to earn games within crypto. It's got a very big community behind it. Yesterday was their NFT sale. It sold out in four minutes. Uh, even the whitelisted people weren't all able to participate or buy one because it was just sold out too quick. And uh, we'll have a look on OpenSea in a second. I bought two yesterday on the secondary market. Uh, they've done over 500 Ethereum in secondary sales already. So let's look at that in a, in a minute. But Chumbi Valley, what can we expect from the token launch? What is a good entry point? What is a good exit point? Uh, how much profit do we want to take? Do we want to stay in it? All questions that we want to get answers to before they're actually launching, right? What's the market cap initially at the start? And how much room is there for growth in the first couple of hours and first couple of, of days? So that's what we're going to look into in this video. Now, Chumbi Valley is, like I said, a bit of a Pokemon style type of game. We see a lot more similar style games, obviously, because that's just very popular. People people like the look of it. Uh, I like the look of it myself as well. This is actually a game I could, I could play, right? So you get a Chumbi, you uh, get your Chumbi to play with, you uh, farm it, you explore different parts with it. You can craft where you um, create new items and the items that you can sell on their marketplace. You can breed new chumbies. You can honestly battle to either level up or earn more money. And then there's a lot of land plots that you can get, uh, that you can use within within the game itself to do like trading, shopping or, or different things. So we look at the light paper. <clears throat> I'm going to go through this quickly today because uh, we're not necessarily here just to look at what the game is all about in too much detail but we're looking at what can we expect from the launch happening later on today right so um if we look at the chumbi itself right that they, they look very similar to pokemon style but the concept is cool here you can see fire element water element and land element green element um, here's similar to kind of the, the pikachu so there's a couple of different NFTs. Yesterday, the launch was only the, the seeds. So they still have to breathe. They still have to come out. But all of them are obviously unique. There's all different types of coats, um, ears, horns, eyes, mouth, and different patterns on it. You were able to buy uh, epic ones. You were able to buy legendary ones. And the most expensive one, there's four different ones. But the most expensive one is the uh, mythic one. So I got one mythic yesterday. There's only 400 of them. They say that the yesterday's NFT launch is the are the, the best NFTs that they ever launched. They're gonna do more launches soon. They're gonna launch land plots as well, uh, short shortly after the, the token launch, or at least they're gonna announce it. But the first launch of all the NFTs of yesterday, they're supposed to be the strongest, best ones, also bringing in the most money with airdrops, etc. So that's what we can see here, right? So you can see, obviously, there's a, a battle element in there where it's different attacks to it, different strengths to it, different effects, etc. Different battle strategies, um, the gameplay. What I really like about it is that there's a couple of different elements also offline on how to make money with the game, right? You can farm, you can explore different areas, or and obviously you have your forest home, your own home. But here with the gameplay, there's offline rewards. So you don't just want to be making money while you're playing the game you want to be able to earn when you're not actually actively playing the game that's a, a cool concept with it right you get coins airdrop so you get the actual coin airdrop to you which is eventually going to be worth quite a lot of money if the game continues to grow so there's an automatically gather in-game tokenized resources even while you're offline now I, I like the idea of that plus something else that you can do is chumbi fostering meaning that you can um, allow other players to temporarily use your chumbi and use it for whatever they want to uh, and then you can just ask it back whenever you want you can just request your own chumbi back it comes back to you no opportunity no chances for the other guys to keep it it's just like a borrow system where they just borrow your chumbi uh, but you will automatically collect an adjustable percentage of all their rewards um, that the other guy is earning while playing with your chumbi. Now, again, that's kind of similar to an offline uh, reward system because you can now earn the rewards from the work that somebody else has done with your chumbi. <clears throat> and obviously, then you have the chumbi village, 
with, uh, what does it say? NFT based plots of land with in-game ownership, access to special events, etc. Right, so you were able to buy in a family role on the NFT launch yesterday, which means you were even before the whitelisted people to participate. And those are the ones that you, most of them got the, the more expensive NFT. Um, they're gonna do the similar same thing again, probably is what I've been told. With the land plot, you can buy a family role so that you, you know that you're gonna be the first person to choose what type of land and how much money you wanna spend on it and how much of them you wanna get. If you look at the NFT sale of yesterday and how fast it sold out and how much the price went up on the secondary market straight away, it might be a good idea. I'm gonna look into it when that opportunity comes, when they give that option again. So here you can see the play to earn. So there's a lot of different ways to actually make money doing this. And then you have the shrine of giving. So you can see here above that uh, a big part of the, the game system is the Chumbi's happiness. Right. You get a staking reward APY, so you get that Chumbi token sent to you, the more happy your Chumbi is, or the higher of a level he has, the more uh, APY you get, the more rewards you get, the more money you earn. Now, they're going to have a marketplace where you can buy in-game products, right? You can buy different things for your Chumbi to make him more happy, to make him level up, which is then... Uh, part of the shrine of giving the more happy he is the higher level APY you get and the more money you earn Which is a cool concept. So you really build up a sort of uh, Relationship with your chumbi you want to make sure that he's happy as much as possible all the time, right? Here you can see that marketplace. So you have uh, land plots you can buy chumbis uh, In-game items crops resources and more right, which is what we just said <clears throat> then we have the tokenomics now what we want to look at is what is the initial market cap how much how many tokens are they going to be released so what's the potential growth left for that right um, now before we, we look into that let's have a quick look at the uh, nft sales of yesterday so here there's a, a fact sheet you can see the price right so the price that of the nfts they they went up like crazy straight away on the secondary market here there's four different ones. You have rare, epic, legendary, and mythic, where the total amount was just under 4,100 NFTs. Um, here you can see what I just said, the Chumbi fam is the first people to have access to this sale, which most of them bought uh, as many mythicals as, pro uh, as possible. I know a couple of guys had like two wallets or three wallets, um, and they were able to buy three mythicals per wallet because you had a maximum of three which means that there's nothing left over for the whitelisted public and the general public didn't even get to, uh, get to participate anymore because it was sold out already, right? Now, here, if we look at the prices and then we look at the actual um, seeds on OpenSea, so these are mine. Honestly, I had to straight away change my, uh, my profile picture to the uh, mythical seed that I got. So I bought it for five Ethereum um it got it got bought by somebody else for four he listed it again for five and i got it <clears throat> there's been a couple more sold already floor price has gone down a little bit yesterday you know the hype when i just sold out was was pretty high up it was above 0 0.4 for a while for the cheapest one now the cheapest one was only 300 dollars which is less than 0 0.1 Ethereum uh, and it went up to 0 0.4 for a while now. It's just below 0 0.3 You look at the mythic. Let's see um, If someone bought one no. so the last time I checked it was this one as well 5.2 Ethereum, which is like uh, 21 22,000 21 and something thousand dollars for the mythical one which was only three thousand dollars at the actual launch well if you bought three of them six of them and you were able to sell one, two, three, four, five. Well, you made a massive, massive gain on that one. So that's why I said it might be worth it to get the family role uh, next time again and to buy in as much as you possibly could, right? If we look at the sales that continue to be being sold out here, another one sold 11 minutes ago, a mythical one for five Ethereum. I checked out too long ago and there were two more. Somebody bought two of them a couple of hours back, uh, but you can see how many rares and epics people are buying legendary ones for roughly one ethereum i bought mine for 1.2 um here there's one for 5.3 5.2 5 
Now, what can we do with these NFTs? Um, obviously, we want to know what's in them. We want to know what type of NFT we have, whether we have a special one or not. Um, here, there was one sold for five Ethereum. If you go back a little bit yesterday, um, there was one guy who was just buying up a bunch of different ones <clears throat> all at once. Um, but we, we got to wait until we see what type of chumbi we actually have and whether it's a rare one or not, which is then going to dictate the actual value of it. Right, the more rare one you have, the higher APY uh, you get, the more airdrops you get, and the more in-game perks you will you will have. Well, here we go. There's another two sold for five point three yesterday. Um, how many seeds can you have? There's three per wallet, and this is what's been reserved. Now, if we look at the statistics, no, that's not really what we want to look at. Here, the mythical one you can see, right? Uh, the tiers you have an eighty percent chance of a tier three. So really, if you have a tier uh, eighty percent chance of a tier four. Really, if you have a tier three, and you bought a mythical one. You're kind of unlucky because the legendary parts even have the opportunity to be a tier three or tier four, as well, right? So you do wanna, if you have a mythical one and you pay that much money, you kind of wanna get a tier four, mini or shiny, which is the the more rare ones. Um, all right, cool now. That's that. Uh, the sale has been done. Everybody is now buying them on the secondary market. Um, we don't really know exactly what they're going to be doing within the game yet because the game hasn't been launched. But these are the, the most valuable chumbies out there. So if we look at you know the website that we just looked at before and you see all these pictures, these are the chumbies that will come out of the seed that we've just bought, right? <clears throat> now let's look at the, the tokenomics. So the sale is in one and a half hours from now. We want to know what to do, what to expect, uh, what's a good entry point, what's a good exit point, right? Are we gonna still buy in if it just jumps up straight away at the start or not? So there's a couple of, couple of aspects we wanna look at, total market cap, uh, total amounts of tokens available, plus let's look at a couple of examples that have been in the past uh, so we kinda know what, you know, what the opportunities are, what we can expect. So here you can see within the tokenomics how many tokens are gonna be released for every single different part, right? Total supply is 30, what is that? 30 billion tokens. So I've got a sheet open here for you guys already. The total amount of tokens is 30, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 right? That's the total amount of tokens that will be available um, later on. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's grab this one. Cool. So now we know that. Uh, then we want to look at you can see here already initial circulating supply is this amount also down below initial market cap is this because of the amount of circulating in supply now i've been told by a couple of the admins that uh, these numbers aren't fully correct yet why because uh well it, it is correct because this is the total supply released on the ieo on kucoin but Shortly after that, the seed sale and the private sale will get their tokens as well. So there's going to be a bigger market cap straight away already when those tokens get released, right? So 1% um, of the total amount of uh, coins is going to the IEO. And then if we look at the festing schedule, 5.5% of that 1% total will go uh, will be released straight away at the TGE today, and then there's going to be uh, the the rest of it's going to be re released over the next couple of months, right? So from total IEO is one percent, right? One percent of the total, meaning this is the total amount, and then the amount of being released here five point five percent. So I already filled that out for you guys. Five point five percent here is a total of this which is the initial tokens, which is correct, right? which we just checked earlier here. Uh, I've got, let me see, yeah, 15,150,000 tokens released at the start, cool. Then we look at seed and then we look at private. I've been told, um, I did some research, I asked a couple of guys how many tokens will be released for seed and how many tokens will be released for private and they said it's 8.33% that's being released today from a total of, here you can see, uh, private sale has a total of 11% of the total supply. So we put in private 11%, which gives you a total of 3.3 billion with 8.33 being released 
today gives a total of 274,890,000 tokens. We do the same thing for the seed round. Seed sale is 5% unlocked over 12 months. So today they get 8.33% of 5% is the total of this. So that means, uh, yes, the IEO has an initial uh, launch with 15 million tokens, but because the seed and the private will be released as well, there's going to be a total amount of tokens of 414 million and 990,000 tokens, right? That's, got, that's what's going to be released today. Meaning the initial market cap, if we look at this initial market cap, the listing price will be 0 0.001 cent with the IEO amount of tokens released of 15 million, market cap $15,000, which is literally nothing, right? Compared to all the other projects out there, compared to the potential, compared to the team that's behind it, the community, the money they've already brought in by the NFT release, this is literally nothing, right? Um, but if we take in the seed and the private sale, the actual market cap will be this. Whether they're going to release the seed in the private round straight away at the same time or a couple of minutes, a couple of hours later, we don't know yet. We're going to have to find out when, it, when it's actually uh, time for it. But what we can expect somewhere today with the tokens being released, the market cap will be a minimum of $414,990. All right, cool. So next thing what we want to do is look at the price of the token per token which gives us a 1x, 2x, 3x, etc., and then the market cap attached to it, right? So I already filled up one here. The initial price is 0 0.001 cent, which gives us a times one. It doesn't give us any profit. That's the initial price with the market cap of $414,990. Cool. If the price goes up to 0 0.00, two cents that gives us two x gives us a hundred percent gain market cap will go up to eight hundred and twenty nine thousand uh, dollars nine hundred and eighty dollars cool so that's still nothing right compared to all the other projects out there that we've seen so far that's literally still nothing now we want to kind of look at you know, the the actual potential so let's just go for a hundred around number here we go um uh, hold up i did that one wrong two seconds this one we'll drag this one up to 100 um there we go goes to 90 cents and then we'll do the same thing here that gives us eight times obviously there we go oh i need to get a mouse proper mouse to move my hand with there we go gives us eight times 90 we might as well drag it up to 100 right and that gives us a market cap of now this is the fun part because what we can see here is that it's still nothing All right, let's let's just go for the hundred otherwise it looks weird um one more one more one more cool so what does this mean even if we get 100x <clears throat> the market cap would still only be $41.5 million. Is that possible? Well, yeah, in reality, that is actually possible, right? Does it make sense to expect 100X on the launch straight away? Well, maybe not. You were able to participate in the fair launch beforehand, so if you if you have KuCoin and you have the um, token, the KuCoin coin, then you were able, I'm not sure exactly how that works because I didn't participate in it, but you were able to, to get a certain amount of tokens at the 0 0.001 cent release, right? That's gonna be released over uh, the, what is it? Over the nine month block. So you get 5% five cent, five of it now, and then you get a little bit more afterwards. The amount of tokens that you were able to put in wasn't that much, um, but still, if you get it at 0 0.001 cents and eventually goes up to however much, even with a small investment, well, yeah, it's worth a lot of money. Now, if we if we look at this, right, what can we really expect? Is a 10x doable? Is a 50x doable? Uh, if we look at the market cap, really, if you think about it, yes, everything that we've put down here is is very doable. How do we know? Well, the market right now is is tumbling a little bit. It's going up and down a little bit, right? I always say it is 
logic over emotion. So you want to invest with logical intent. You want to do your research beforehand. You want to kind of know what you're getting into rather than being emotional and kind of just doing random things and um, kind of feeding off your, your emotions is usually going to make, make you make mistakes, right? But our logic is often based on other people's emotions because when the market's going down, you know that everybody's kind of getting panicking, getting fearful a little bit, uh, which means that, you know, you act like a di on a different way. There's a saying, I saw a video on it the other day, I kind of don't like saying it, but this is saying of Warren Buffett, very common, um, be fearful when others are greedy, be greedy when others are fearful. And I kind of hate hearing that saying because it's so common, everybody keeps mentioning it, but it is true. And if you look at the market now, most people are fearful, meaning most people are kind of scared a little bit, most people don't really get into much. So um, that means that there's an opportunity there for us to buy in a little bit cheaper because things are going down, things are uh, at a discount rate compared to a couple of weeks back, right? Now, what does that mean for the, the launches? That most launches right now do perform a little bit less than what we could, could have expected a couple of weeks ago when everybody's hyped, everybody's positive, everybody's confident and they just throw in their money. Um, these launches, they, they usually perform a lot better at the start, so they have a bigger peak, but it doesn't necessarily mean that in the longer term it's gonna to continue to perform that way. So I've got three examples. One of them is Soul Chicks, which is done, uh, which was launched on Monday. Uh, so that's just been launched a couple of days ago. So we can look at how that one went this week. And that's also a project with a massive following, a massive hype around it. One of the other biggest uh, upcoming games that people are, are really excited about. Then we will look at Axie Infinity, which is obviously one of the, or the biggest one, the most well-known one, and Sandbox, right? So Soul, Chick, Soul Chicks, had an initial market cap of nine million, so uh, it's not here in this in, in coin market cap yet because it's probably too new still. Fully diluted market cap also means the market cap with all tokens would be released right now. Same with Chumbi Valley, if all the tokens, so the total supply, would be released at that zero point zero one cents, the fully diluted market cap is a lot more than if you only look at the. Uh, amount of coins in circulation. If we look at the ones that we put here, 400, 440 million, uh, market cap is different than when all tokens are being used, right? Makes sense. So here in Solchix, the initial market cap was 9 million. So even the starting market cap was a lot bigger than the uh, 440,000 that we can expect with Chumbi. Um, it went up from, it started at 5 cents. So I, I participated in the IEO beforehand. I bought a couple of the NFTs. I bought it at 4.5 cents, but it opened up at 5 cents. And it did peak. It was done on the Solana blockchain. There was a, a massive, well, not crash, but things uh, kind of didn't really work the way they should have done anymore because so many people were trying to get into things. So at the launch it did peak it opened up it went all the way up to almost 70 cents um on maxi but people weren't able to, to to sell people weren't able to liquidity was a little bit wrong so they um added liquidity the next day which eventually made it possible for people to get their tokens to buy in etc so the 60 cents or the 70 cents isn't really what we want to look at. Why not? Because people weren't able to sell, but people were buying while the market kept going, going up. The next day, though, when they did fix all their problems, uh, it went up to 40 cents eventually. So it was just well, 37 cents roughly is when um, is the peak that it had. At 37 cents, it opened up at five. Um, that's almost a times eight, right? A times seven, times eight on a market cap of nine million. Well, that means that uh, the, the peak of the market cap was roughly $63 million. So let's say in between of the 60 to $70 million. Um, it dropped down a little bit again. Like I said, the market is a little bit, people aren't uh, that confident to put in a lot of money. So uh, it's only valued at 13 cents now. In my opinion, a discount, um, if I didn't get that much tokens at the launch, I would still buy in right now. But you can see after it launched, it kind of started, you know, finding its momentum around the 15 cent mark. So that's a 3x from the initial market cap, 27 million. So let's say right now, uh, the market cap is in between of 25 to 30 million on a token that was launched four days ago. 
if we look at Chumbi Valley, the market cap, if it's going to be in between the 20 to 30 million, we can expect a 49 to 73 X. We can expect a massive gain if the market get, uh, market cap is going to go roughly the same way. Uh, now, is that very optimistic? Yeah, sure, maybe. The initial market cap is a lot smaller, but you never know, right? It all depends on how many people are going to be participating in it. Then we look at XE. Uh, XE Infinity had its launch last year. It started at $9 million, I believe. Yeah, $8.75 million was the initial launch. In the couple of days after, if I'm going to do this correctly, you can see it doubled a couple of days after it tripled. It went, kept going, kept going. Sure, it fluctuated a little bit, but overall uh, it went up like crazy. Even in the first couple of minutes later on, market cap was... Uh, times 50 and now well the results now are ridiculous right i saw an article if you invested a thousand dollars in xc infinity at the start uh, it would have been worth a year later like over 200 grand so the potential for these games are there um but what we're going to look at now is the launch right well if this one again launched in nine millions straight away from the start uh we can expect chumbi belly to have a 34x maximum if it's going to go up to a, a similar market cap as that XE was at. Again, the, the potential is here because the market cap is so so small. Sandbox, quickly look at it. Uh, similar story. It started up at a market cap of 31 million, 32 million. Now, this is the market cap that's shown here in uh, Coin Market Cap. Same thing will be for XE. That's not the actual. Uh, market cap that was with sandbox when it launched why not is because people were able to also participate in the in the launch etc at a smaller rate and the lot the token was launched at a s s lower uh, amount as soon as it launches people buy in it, it jumps up and that's what core market cap based its market cap on here i believe uh the sandbox had a market cap initially below the 50 million dollars even below the 10 million so it did a two and a half x three and a half x already from the start straight away as soon as it launched because people started buying in uh, but that market can kept went up to 25 million straight away because people were buying now long story short having a market cap of four hundred thousand or even the fifteen thousand is just literally nothing it's launching on kucoin kucoin is doing uh a lot of volume in trading every single day. It's launching on PancakeSwap. It's got a very big community behind it. Everybody's very excited. The uh, NFT launch yesterday was massive. It was sold out very quickly. People were uh, straight away going into the secondary market, paying five, four, five, six times more for the NFTs to get one. So can we expect a massive jump up to a bigger, uh, bigger market cap here and so expect a, a massive gain? Probably we can expect it, but we never know beforehand and we never really know what the market is doing now. Now Bitcoin is dropping a little bit. So for me, personally, uh, I'm going to trade on KuCoin. The cool thing and the useful thing with KuCoin is that you can, um, it, it is an exchange, so you can set in uh, buy orders and sell orders very easily, right? So you don't just have to click like crazy to hope that you get in as fast as possible, as cheap as possible like you do on pancake you can actually strategically put in uh, sales so for me i'm willing to still buy in up until uh, it kind of depends on the launch itself because if it launches up and it just shoots up straight away then the beginning point that we're looking at is not really the zero zero one but beginning point might even be 0 0.10 right might even be four million already where it's from where it's going to go up and down a little bit so i'm just going to put in an order straight away for everything uh, up until six cents, right? So for me, or up until five cents, so 0 0.001, 0 0.002, 0 0.003, 0 0.004, 0 0.005 is I wanna, I wanna buy, right? I wanna buy anything that I can from that point on. After that, I'm gonna have to see how it's working out, how it's launching, how it's, how it's moving around. Um, as for selling, I, I really believe in the project. I really like the, the, the project itself, so I'm fine with holding as well, but, if you know if if it has a massive jump up same if you look at soul chicks it shoots up from a certain beginning point usually it goes down afterwards right usually it, it calms down a little bit the hype at the initial launch is slowed down a little bit so we can expect it to kind of 
find you know easy waters before it's going to go back up in, in the next couple of weeks and months when they release new announcements so for me if i can buy in anything below the six cents i'm happy and then if it does jump up to you know a, a massive gain anything probably above the 20x i'll be happy selling it again because i'd be happy with the gain that i got is that risky well maybe it means that it's only going to continue to go up and up and up and up even more and if i want to buy in later on i'm going to have to buy in more expensive but that's a risk i'm willing to date to take because i do want to take my profits uh that's part of my strategy i take my profits with something i, I keep moving around a little bit um but if that doesn't happen the 20x anything below i might still sell it but i might hold it as well kind of depends on on where it starts to fluctuate right uh so for me the 0.0 zero five up until the zero point twenty that's that's where i see things moving around a little bit can we expect it to, to jump up a lot more than that and just hit like a, a a peak of a market cap of above the 20 million yeah i think the possibility is there meaning that we will see a, a 50x or more well i think you'd be crazy not to sell that um to take profits and then wait when it drops down to buy in again right but the, the tokens will be useful for the in-game perks. It will be useful for the NFTs. So we will need, for everybody that's going to participate with the NFTs or wants to be part of the game, we will need the tokens. Now, I got the, um, I got obviously the two NFTs already. I got one mythical one. So that's going to give me airdrops. That's going to give me opportunities to, to accumulate more coins over time. But expecting looking at all the results that have been so far with all the other games with the whole crypto gaming scene the whole play to earn scene that's going on uh i expect a massive gain first of all plus i expect it to even if it peaks up at ridiculous amounts above the 20 million uh market cap above the 50 50x i do expect it to drop down a little bit again and then find easy waters before it's gonna continue to go up for the longer run over the next couple of months and years if it turns out that it's the game you know if the, the game turns out the way they want it to be the way they represent it now they're gonna have their white paper release soon the the lands the more nfts if everything works out the way it's going right now uh, there's no reason why this game shouldn't go up to the market cap of you know up above the billion dollars eventually so here we've only looked at the 100x for the next couple of hours and days 41 million market cap maybe a couple of weeks before it hits that but longer term if we look a little bit further ahead market cap can be billions and billions of dollars if a play to earn uh, game is set up properly now chumbi valley has that uh community in the advantage they have you know the overall look in the advantage so if that play to earn system is set up properly we can definitely expect similar results where the market cap is going to go up in, into the billions but if you're able to buy in uh, at a couple of cents, right, even at 100x, you were able to buy in somewhere in one of the numbers that we've broken down here. Well, in a couple of months, a couple of years time from now, uh, you're going to be laughing, right? So that's my expectations. 0 0.005 up until 0 0.20 is where I kind of see it moving around a little bit. But, you know, I might be totally completely wrong. You never know because uh, with the whole play to earn stuff that's going on right now, anything can happen, really. So... We got just under an hour left before the, the actual launch of the coin. If you have any other expectations, please let me know. If you are participating in the IEO or you hold uh, any of the NFTs, drop a comment. Let me know what your expectations are. And if not, uh, I wish you guys all the best of luck with the launch. And I'll see you guys in the next video.